Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 14 of the Bat Friends Podcast, where two friends rediscover an anime classic. I am one of your hosts, Chris, alongside the world champ, Joe. Woo! I did it. I did it. <laughs> We've got a case of the giggles. So, Joe. Yeah, what? We get the legendary team up this week of Paul Dini and Bruce Tim. That's true. For Heart of Ice. The classic. Possibly the first episode aired. Possibly. Kevin Smith always says it is, but I can't trust anything he says. Because of the weed. <laughs> the reefer will ruin your mind. Reefer madness. Reefer. Re- 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 <laughs> Let's free some bitches. I cannot smoke the marijuana. Because I am too cold. <laughs> I try to light it on fire, <laughs> and it freezes. <laughs> like tears in the rain. Written by Paul Dini, directed by Bruce W. Tim. Bruce Wayne Tim. Now, see, this is why I also think it's the first episode. No title card. Goes right into the episode. Oh, that's good. Forever beautiful. I do love his voice acting. I don't care. This is my phrase. I don't care. I love it too. It's just so easy to make fun of. <laughs> but it is. Revenge is a dish best served cold. cold. Weird red eyes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when they made Batman Returns and they cast Arnold Schwarzenegger, he, he just gave that was flicks. not Batman Returns. Which one that was, was it? Batman and Robin? Okay, Batman and Robin. It's Clooney. Go on. They just gave him all the cold puns from this episode. It's possible. <laughs> Like just say these over and over again with the helmet on. Poor Arnold. Have we ever talked about that? No. They had the genius idea. Ferris Boyle. Not Ferris Bueller. Ferris Boyle. <laughs> they had the genius idea. We're going to have his mouth glow. I don't know why. I don't know why cold would make your mouth glow. But apparently your mouth was going to glow if you were Mr. <laughs> Freeze. So they built this device that they would put batteries in to put under his tongue... To make his mouth glow. His mouth's natural saliva would eat away at the batteries, oh, releasing battery acid into his mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> they had already shot footage when this was found out, so their genius solution was, let's just keep putting new batteries. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Arnold does not get enough... Cre- yeah, I know the freeze... The idea. <laughs> Listen. We're talking about Arnold's battery acid-filled mouth right now. This is another reason I think it's first episode, though. Look at the quality of animation. He's sitting in the Batcave. You see him as Bruce once, but, like, he's all... His cape's like a real cape. Yeah. But, okay, so... Arnold does not get enough credit for acting in that movie with a steady flow of battery acid constantly in his mouth. <laughs> Also, do you know why Mr. Freeze smoked in that movie? Because Bon Jovi showed up on set and gave Arnold those Cuban cigars. And as a thank you, Arnold smoked them during the movie. (laughs) (laughs) I had goons. Keep your mind on your business. (coughs) Add your business on your mind. (laughs) I'll make the bat freeze. Steer, steer into the steer into the curve. Steer into the turn. This is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about that was a good idea. It's okay. Here's a rocket. Hello, I'm Mr. Freeze. <laughs> you can call me Mr. Freeze. They, they obviously made this vehicle. Put that thing on top, just because Freeze. Like, I just want to stick my hand up and shoot out of it. You know how fragile this glass thing is? (laughs) It's made from snow globes. I don't want anybody hitting this. (laughs) (laughs) This cop is way over his head. His buddy knows it too. He's like, yeah, thank God you froze. I didn't know I'd go in there. I'm a world champion wrestler. Look at my belt. (laughs) The first episode of Batman the Animated Series is actually the next episode we're about to 
Doom. Really? Which is the Cat in the Claw Part 1. Okay. I just always remember Kevin Smith tells a story about videotaping this week's RST. Yeah. You're going to throw a batarang at me? <laughs> I'm going to freeze it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wouldn't make a drop either, but whatever. It's right in the name, Batman. <laughs> These goggles really hurt my head. <laughs> I have an itch right now. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want Mr. Freeze to be really annoyed with things. <laughs> Why did you land on the ice? <laughs> now a mountain of ice. My cape will protect me. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it does. I mean... Not eh. not from the bat sniffles, though. Get <laughs> <laughs> for the common cold, eh? My entire notes for this episode are bat cold, bat sneeze, <laughs> bat sniffles. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. Your legs is frozen. <laughs> Don't leave me, please. I can still be useful. Batman's gonna turn me into a White Walker. Don't do it. I am the White Walker. <laughs> oh my god. Then it Batman. <laughs> Just angry at all the barrels. Just fuck these barrels. Fuck, fuck that car. Fuck this guy with the frozen legs. What am I supposed to do with him? Now I gotta blindfold him, take him back to the Batcave. Thanks a lot, Mister Freeze. You're a dick. No reason you're not a doctor anymore. This is the point I realized <laughs> that this either takes place during Star Wars times or Batman's a Super Saiyan because he has this tank. <laughs> no. Batman wants to turn him into Wolverine. And if you watch in a few minutes, look at okay, look at it. He's got the mask on. He's got a blindfold because you know back cave. <laughs> Because this guy's going to, you know, I'm going to save his life and then he's going to run and tell him to freeze where the Batcave is. Weird Frankenstein machines. <laughs> da, da, da. Wolverine! <laughs> I really want someone to edit this to where the bubbles come out and then it's just X-Men the anime series Wolverine's losing his shit. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Oh no, I'm covered in scorpions. <laughs> My frostbite is healed. Now here's the real question. How do you get his pants off? <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alfred, you old queen. <laughs> he also referred to himself in the third person twice as two different people. <laughs> Not even Doom can handle that. This... Up. This guy's got weird eyes. You can't trust him. Also, his company is called Goth Corp. <laughs> he only hires 17-year-olds that wear heavy eyeliner. <laughs> it's actually the parent company of Hot Topic. Uh, yes, it is. This is also so 90s because he calls somebody a fruitcake in it. <laughs> it's just not acceptable anymore. Oh. It's because fruitcakes are awful, though. It has nothing to do with anything else. It's unacceptable because it's just terrible. My money. My money. <laughs> How is this guy not a supervillain? The wage slaves. That's, okay, listen. He unironically referred to his employees as wage slaves. <laughs> I just... That needs to be drawn out. And then... And then just throw in that he's getting the award for Gotham Humanitarian of the Year. Because he has no sense of irony. <laughs> he just called his employees wage slaves. <laughs> that these wage slaves, I mean... Rabble, rabble. I have a cold TV. <laughs> it's just, you're just hurting yourself, man. <laughs> you're sitting on an icy throne of lies. I don't... It's such a super villain thing to do, though. Just be like, I don't like this show. Boom. <clears throat> How is he steering that in here? The traction must be fantastic on that forklift. Oh, there's studs. There's spikes in those tires. 
I mean, at least he was nice enough to give those guys parkas. <laughs> Unlike Wolverine, who just had to have his legs frozen. <laughs> to be fair, he has a healing factor. <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. I'm Batman. Where's Alfred getting knockout gas? <laughs> Bruce, I think you need to take the night off, man. <laughs> I just love the idea of Batman on a roof somewhere waiting for the village to eat some chicken soup. <laughs> hey, man, it feels better. <laughs> I'm going to feel better in the morning. <clears throat> Batman should never be a blonde. Um, I also love how the news was in black and white, but the security monitors are in color. When in reality, <laughs> it's always the reverse. <laughs> Got my regular belt, my bat belt, my blonde belt, my, <laughs> my golf corp card. I'm Batman. Changed really fast. <laughs> but does he still have the regular belt on? Oh, good thing it's labeled top secret. <laughs> that's always the right file. Alright, so what's in this folder? Hmm? Oh, it's a cassette tape. <laughs> And some and pictures of pictures. a wedding? Hmm, <sighs> doesn't seem to be to scale. Let's see if this will work. Mm. Oh, no, it's Betamax. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dr. Victor Freeze. <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> I want to cure immortality for my wife. She's got a case of the sniffles, <laughs> so I decided to freeze her because, you know... Can't YOLO. Let, can't let that shit get around. <laughs> Once we have a cure for the common cold, we will unfreeze her. <laughs> Here comes Lex Luthor. It's calling your wife an experiment? I don't know, man. I don't think she'd like that. Three million in debt? I don't think this really freezes fault. Somebody should have caught that in accounting. <laughs> I can do what I want. Ah, uh, look at my hair. <laughs> mine! It is all mine! <laughs> no wonder this guy calls his employees wage slaves. <laughs> I got the gun. The Victor, irony. Victor, <laughs> I'm not gonna kill her. I'm just gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a sucker kick. You don't get to see those very often. Then it starts to snow. Because, you know, it'll just start to snow when it gets cold enough. Doesn't matter where you are. You know how often it snows in freezers? All the time. <laughs> it would move me to tears if I still had tears to shed. Freeze gone. Remember that line. <laughs> Frozen. Then hung him upside down. They stole this entire episode from Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Where's my Wampa? <laughs> I like a swift hand of vengeance. See, I'm a professional wrestler. I just took your belt and now I'm wearing it over my shoulder. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Like a trophy. Look at my boots. They're purple. <laughs> Detective to the last. <laughs> Who thinks Batman's a detective that lives in Gotham City? He doesn't put, he's not on the police payroll. He doesn't have a cool apartment like Sherlock Holmes. Especially if I have to kill. <laughs> <laughs> to never walk a summer's day again. To feel the hot wind in your face. A warm hand to hold. Do you know how hard it is to jerk off with his kid? <laughs> <laughs> like, I was waiting for to take that weird turn. <laughs> it never gets warm. It never gets warm. <laughs> That's why he's so mad. He's actually frustrated. <laughs> Proof that it's better to be Batman than to use the Force. <laughs> Also, don't think it would work like that, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, old chum. 
Why is it snowing in this cave? <laughs> <laughs> Just reminds me of Christmas. Goth Corp. I miss the Robin. The People Company. <laughs> the Wage Slave Company. <laughs> well, that seems legit. I'm just going to continue to stand here. Tip. <laughs> he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> little joke. For a little man. I have a big freeze ray. <laughs> I'm going to use it. You know what they say. The bigger the ray, the bigger the cold. <laughs> This is totally from Batman <laughs> Rob, by the way. Batman <laughs> Rob did steal this gun from this show. Look at my gun. My gun is amazing! <laughs> no! So much of this episode is animated beautifully. Meanwhile, the ice looks like something out of the 60s. <laughs> where they have to move the cell over the screen. Because <laughs> you know what happened? Bruce is like, how are we going to animate the ice? I don't know, man. It's on black paper. This ain't going to look right at all. <laughs> Just make it look really weird then. We could be like, science. <laughs> like, look at that thing. Uh-oh. Stone, Stone Cold's going to kick somebody's ass. <laughs> Fear of the icy windstorm. Not now. <laughs> I made my own battle rags <laughs> out of ice. No. Where's my belt? <laughs> I want my belt. There it is. <laughs> Peekaboo. No. <laughs> Gotta put my belt down. Don't know if anyone's behind me. Yeah. <laughs> this this is the this best is ever. Fantastic. <laughs> Going for a wild ride! <laughs> Just happens to go right in the window. <laughs> I'm Mr. Freeze. <laughs> it's so hot in here. <laughs> oh god, no, now it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> we live in a world of extremes. I just want a nice temperate place to live. I really want to know if he uses the move on Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Cold eyes of vengeance <laughs> all upon you, boy. Got your nose. <laughs> now it's time to freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I should do that. I should take Mr. Freeze's lines from these episodes, just do them in an Arnold voice. <laughs> I'm going to take my time with you. Yeah, right on that dick. I'm never going to use that again. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it feels. <laughs> You beg. Did I not beg for Nora? My sweet Nora. How I've longed to see that look frozen on you. <laughs> Batman! Here it comes. It's karate jumping. <laughs> Snowball fight. Leave that circuit through the pounds of my suit. Also triples my strength. I'm here to bump you up. <laughs> Not if I use my signature move. <laughs> All who stand in my way must be the icy touch of death. <laughs> I wonder what you're going for. Hmm. Perhaps some knockout gas? Oh god, my one weakness, chicken noodle soup! You fool! What have you done? No! <laughs> I'm a vegan now! The only way to fight a cold. Goddamn punny Batman. <laughs> it can't end this way! I hate chicken noodle soup! It's the worst! My mother tried to feed it to me and I killed her. It's not even chunky. <laughs> it's some store brand crap. <laughs> Have fun with your frozen dick. <laughs> when did Arnold become Batman? No, it's still freeze. He's just in the ground. <laughs> No, remember the line where he can't cry? 
I failed you. I wish there was another way for Why me would to you say give, it. Why would you give that to me? But I cannot. I can only beg your forgiveness and pray you hear me somehow. I really wish I could fuck this thing. <laughs> he cries in that scene and it bothers me. I would just like to say to <coughs> everyone listening to this very somber and often cited as emotional episode of Batman, you're welcome. <laughs> Mr. Freeze wants to fuck a ballerina snow globe. <laughs> It's I like, just brought you knowledge from the mountaintop. <laughs> At some point, <laughs> we're going to have a dramatic reading of Mr. Freeze's lines. <laughs> you know what? If we did, uh, we should just we should Eddie Murphy it. Arnold should be everyone. <laughs> what is this knockout gas? No, sir. <laughs> she can. <laughs> <laughs> you know I did that years ago, right? I did Schwarzenegger Saturday, and I would find famous, like dramatic monologues, and I would do them in Arnold's voice, like Shakespeare. All I want now <coughs> is to cut a bunch of Alfred scenes together and have it be Arnold. I know nothing about raising children. <laughs> Come here, you little rascal. That was a fun series of shorts. Little rascals, remember it? <laughs> Arnold, just, uh, just stick to the script. You <laughs> stick to the script! <laughs> I, am a, I am a superstar! <laughs> I will be governor someday! <laughs> Arnold, you're just a butler. <laughs> Where's the maid? <laughs> hey, Bruce, you never think maybe you give me a little maid? Yeah! <laughs> Or another butler, I'm not picky. <laughs> I mean, you're just, you're out a lot, and it gets lonely. I just, you know, there's only so much chicken soup I can make. <laughs> Where did Alfred get that thermos? <laughs> did he go to the grocery store and go, you know what? I think Bruce would really like this thermos. <laughs> I like to think that that was Alfred's thermos. He really <laughs> cherished it. And then Bruce just destroyed it. And he's like, what the fuck did you do with my thermos? No, he's just like, hey, so uh, did you eat the chicken soup? Uh, no, no, no. I had to use it against the villain. Oh, you brought the thermos up, right? <laughs> no, it was destroyed. How did you destroy a thermos? <laughs> That's thermos brand thermos. Those are hardy. <laughs> Those, this is not your, your little old batarang. No, this is real deal. People really work on this stuff. It takes a lot. Of enjoy your frozen dick. <laughs> uh, warning, guys. <laughs> well, there's a few things in that, that might come show up in the next two episodes. Because I really like that. That's a, it's just an outro line. Just enjoy your frozen dick. <laughs> This will be a deal of <laughs> Alfred just stomping away like, fuck you, man. And, and Batman's being like, I'm rich as fuck. I'll buy you a hundred of them. Alfred's just kicking, he's just kicking the tires on the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bruce wakes up and Alfred just wrote each shit on the pillow next to him. Like, Dude, you control all my money. <laughs> I give you permission to buy the thermos once. It won't be that thermos. Your father gave it to me as a gift. And then Bruce starts crying. My dad's dead. <laughs> you, 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 you guys find us at this point. We just we can't do this right now. DC calls. <laughs> 